Hey guys, I'm here with Coach James and we're gonna go over this week's Fast and Furious Fat Furnace Friday workout. So we got six stations, 15 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rotate. We're gonna go around the room four times and then halfway we're gonna switch everything up. We're gonna do four more rounds, uh, 15 seconds and 15 seconds to rotate. So you ready, James? Yeah. I said, are you ready, James? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. So station number one on the ropes, we're doing some rope jacks. So you're gonna, you're gonna step in a little closer this time, so a little further away to the blue force. So you have that slash in those ropes. Kicking those feet apart, get those knees high overhead. If you need to take the impact out, you just step one leg at a time. If these are hard on your shoulders, just go into those rope slams or rope waves, whichever one you want to do here. Okay, from there we're going to come over to our suspension trainers and we're going to be doing some bicep curls. We're going to be working on that gun show today. James is upset that he's wearing sleeves right now. <laughs> so, you're gonna keep those arms up high, squeeze those biceps as you pull your hands right towards your face, trying to keep those elbows up the whole time here. Remember, we're not rowing, so we're not pulling back, we're pulling up, really working those guns. If you want, you can give them a little kiss every once in a while. Show them what that looks like, James. Yeah, there we go, <laughs> nice. And then, from there, we're gonna come over to the blue floor, we're gonna be working on our push-ups. So, remember, we have a few variations here. You can go from the toes, squeezing those shoulders, push that air out as you press back up. You can go down from your toes, lower those knees, and then press back up. Again, down from the toes and up from the knees, or you can work from those knees, especially if you're getting tired, make whatever adjustment you need to so you can get the best reps in. From there, we're gonna be coming over to the kettlebell, and we're gonna do our goat bag swing here. So, you're gonna take that kettlebell, you're gonna press the bottom of that kettlebell into your stomach here, and then you're gonna sit your butt back. Just think about a nice hip hinge, and then squeeze those glutes. So think, James's hips are moving back, and then forward. Back, and then forward, squeezing those glutes nice and tight. He's not leaning back at the top here, he's standing straight up. Squeeze those glutes and pull those kneecaps up towards his hips. If you could be here right now, you could smack that butt. He's working those glutes really hard right now. And then, from there, we're gonna come over to the dumbbells, and we're gonna be doing some duck and punch. So, here, remember, you're gonna go fives, eights, maybe 10 pounds, you wanna keep them light. Pull those dumbbells at your chest, you're gonna squat down. As you come up, you're gonna pivot and throw that punch across your body, reaching across your body. Use that momentum coming out of that squat, pivoting and throwing those hands as quickly as you can here. And then the last station on the sliders, we're gonna be doing some slider climbers here on this last blue strip of the floor. You're gonna get those feet on those sliders, push-up position, and you're gonna slide those knees in as quickly as you can here with those sliders. Now, if you don't wanna use the sliders, you can take them away and you can drive those legs in. You can also touch those feet down. Just remember to keep your shoulders over your wrist. Typically, people start to pull themselves back and pike up to get up here. So keep those shoulders over your wrist and drive those knees up, really working that core and that upper body stabilization strength. Okay, so that's the first half. Second half, we're coming back over the ropes and now I got Coach Katie here. Super excited to get started. Are you ready, Katie? Yeah! I said, are you ready, Katie? Yeah! Oh, she can say a lot for a second. Okay, never mind. Are you ready, Katie? Okay, so back on the ropes here, we're gonna be doing our in and out slams. So feet apart, hands inside, we're gonna slam that rope, we're gonna kick those feet together, slamming that rope outside. So inside, outside, if you need to here, you can just step inside and outside to take that impact out of that exercise. From there, we're coming over to the suspension trainers and we're gonna do our fall outs now. So Katie's gonna get set up like she's gonna do a chest press. And now from here, she's on her tippy toes, glutes are squeezed tight, ribs are tucked. She's gonna extend out here. Now here's where she's feeling a lot of that work through her uh, abdomen and her lower back. So nice and controlled on the way out. And then pull yourself back in. Notice how Katie's getting that crunch here to really work those abdominals as she gets back inside. Now, if you need to, you can also put one foot further forward to take some of the weight off. It's gonna make it a little easier to work through that full range of motion because we want that line. One more time, Katie, I want you to hold it out at the end. We want that line from her wrist through elbows, shoulders, down through the hips, knees, and feet here. So we're looking for one straight line to really work that core today. Then from there, we're coming back to the blue floor instead of doing push-ups. This time we're gonna work on our plank walk. So from that push-up position, down to that forearm and elbows, and then back up here, up and down as quickly as you can, but focus on that form here, pressing yourself up, keeping those hips, from shifting on you as you go up and down the wider you go with your feet, the more stable you'll be here. And if you need to, just hold that plank for that 15 seconds. From there, we're gonna come back over to the kettlebells and we're gonna do our goblet squat. So clean that kettlebell up to your chest, elbows in tight, sit that butt back, drive on up and squeeze 
those glutes at the top. Keep pressing on the way down, pushing that air out as you press up out of that squat. Keeping it simple here. You can go light on this one and get some few more reps in, or you can go a little heavier, go a little bit slower. It's up to you. And then from there, we're coming over to the dumbbells again, and we're gonna do our dumbbell renegade rows. So, Katie's showing you what not to do. <laughs> She's showing you the mistake that some people will make. For renegade rows, we're going to that push up position, holding those dumbbells. Squeeze that shoulder weight, pulling that elbow up toward the ceiling here. Again, notice how her hips, she's trying not to rotate through those hips here. Now, if you need to, you can put one dumbbell on the floor and just row on one side the first time around. The next time around, you'd switch to the other arm. If that's a little bit easier on your hand, keep your hand on the floor that way. You can also do these from your knees if you need to as well. And then the last station over on the sliders, we're gonna do our slider lunges. So now, Katie's gonna get one foot on the slider, the other foot's on the floor. Now that foot on the slider is gonna slide back, and then she's gonna drive back up. She's actually pulling that leg back up as well as she comes up out of that lunge. Again, here, you're gonna do one foot for the first round. The second time around, you'll do the other foot so you get two sets in on each leg. So that's our Fast and Furious workout for this week. Great job, Katie and Ah! That was so mean of you! What did I ever do? <laughs>